Hello and welcome to the best dang Madden series on all of YouTube. Welcome to the Durson Network. This is Rebuilding the Jacksonville Jaguars, a Madden 22 franchise rebuild. We are in week 15 of this 2021 football season at 7-6. and six. This week's opponent is the 1-12 Houston Texans. Should get a victory here coming off Two losses, a bad one a couple weeks ago to the Rams, and then a close loss against the Tennessee Titans last week. We are still atop the AFC South, but tied with both the Colts and the Titans right now at 7-6. and six. Need to win some ball games here. With only four games left in the season, it's a great time to take a look at standings across the National Football League. Panthers are atop the league with a 12-1 and one record. Both the Browns and the Ravens are at 11-2 fighting for the division. Chiefs and Broncos are both at 10-3 fighting their, for that division. And then you can see Cowboys, Saints, Bengals, Rams, Bears, all with eight or nine wins respectively. Uh, a lump of teams with seven wins. And then at the bottom of the league, you have the Texans, Lions, Raiders, Vikings, Eagles, Chargers, Steelers, Cardinals, Jets, all with four wins or less. Taking a look at week 14 around the National Football League, Steelers beat the Vikings, Cowboys beat the, I'm sorry, they lost to the Washington football team, Cincinnati beat the 49ers, we lost to Tennessee 21-14, Seattle beat Houston, Las Vegas beat Kansas City 31-10, New Orleans beat the Jets, Atlanta lost to Carolina, Baltimore lost to Cleveland in a very important divisional matchup, the Chargers beat the Giants, Detroit lost to Denver, Tampa Bay dominated Buffalo 48-17, Green Bay beat Chicago on Sunday night football and the Monday night football matchup. Arizona beat the LA Rams 30 to 26. Week 14 players of the week on the offensive side of the football. Tom Brady won it in the NFC and in the AFC. Derrick Henry ran all over us for 257 yards and three rushing touchdowns. We just completely could not stop him, and he got the AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Defensive side of the football, the linebacker Barnes got it for the NFC, and then Miles Jack, our middle linebacker, won it for the AFC with seven tackles, a sack, and an interception. Great opportunity this week against the 1-12 Houston Texans. We have to open up the offense. No more running the ball on first and second down. We're opening it up this week. I know a lot of you are sick and tired of seeing run, run screen. Well, guess what? This is the week to tune in and watch the Durson Network. And Trevor Lawrence, he's got 18 interceptions, 18 touchdowns on the year. You know what? We don't really give a heck. We got to open it up and throw the ball around. We're taking the, the training wheels off this week, and we're going to pass the ball early and often. We don't care what plays we're not going to have later in the game. Let's let's pass the ball around. Told you I was going to open it up early, and I am. They are in man coverage going to, and they drop it. Jones with the drop on the first play of the game. No big deal. Going to keep throwing it around. Looking for Chenault here, and uh, we're going we're gonna to get sacked. Two straight pass plays to open up the game, and two straight turnovers. Or I'm sorry, let's go! Getting my words mixed up. They're not two straight turnovers, but an incompletion, a sack, but then a big play on third down to get a first down. Thank goodness Jones was able to make that play. Have to get Chenault more involved. He hasn't been as good as advertised but he's not going to be open here. Let's get it to Manhurts on first down, and we get a first down. Looks like they're in tight man coverage, and they are. We're going to look to run it. Give me a block, ETN. No, he doesn't. Oh, my. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, boy. We were able to secure. I don't know. I don't even want to talk about that last play, but we're going right back to the pass. I told you I was going to pass it early and often, and we are. He's open. Let's go. First down. First run of the game going to go to Robinson, and he's going to get a carry of about 12. Another pass here on first down, and A is open. Can he catch it? He does. Second and six, another pass, and he's got him. Touchdown. Way to start the game, folks. I told you I was going to pass it early and often, and I did, and that paid off. Touchdown early against the 1-12 Texans. Texans take the ball and go right down the field, but it looks like we were able to get a turnover. Great job by our defense to not allow a touchdown and force a turnover in the red zone. Going to ETN here on the run. 
And he gets about eight. I'm going to go no huddle right now to end the quarter. Catch them off guard. Going with a screen here. And this should do a lot. And we do have a lane. Let's cut it back. And do we get a first down? Maybe. Third and inches going with the quarterback sneak for a first down. Get another run in here really quick before we come right back to the pass game. Nothing doing. Little play action here. And I'm going to have a lane. Yes. Should make the catch. And he does along the sidelines. Great catch by Jones. So far, so good on the passing game. We have another open tight end. And another gain of about 20 there on first down. Have totally changed what we do early in this game and going with the pass. And it's worked out well. He's open. Catch by Chenault. Going to get Isabella involved here on the short pass, and he could go to the end zone here. Can he beat him to the corner? No, but he does get a first down. The passing game is what got us here. I'm a little nervous. I should probably just run it, but no way, no how. We are passing the football, and we got a guy open, and a touchdown by Manhurts. Let's go! Defense gets another stop. We're going to come right back to the passing game, folks. Looking for Chenault on the slant, and he's got room. Can he make a play after the catch, and a ga another gain Great gain on first down. Trevor Lawrence, 12 for 13, 158 yards, and two touchdowns so far this game. And we're coming with a no huddle, and you cannot stop us. He's open again, and he makes another play. Let's go. Quarterback accuracy is still set at zero. I am still playing on all Madden. I'm just being a lot more aggressive, and I like how this is going. I think we should have done this a lot earlier in the season. Had the audible here. I like what I see. No, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. Man hurts, gets another first down. A rare run play. We're going to go to Robinson, and he's got a nice gain on first down. Here's a play. I'm not sure we've ran this all season. Uh, let's see how it works out. Touchdown? Yes! Let's go! Agnew with a toe-tapping touchdown. That's three passing touchdowns for Lawrence here in the first half. Phenomenal throw and catch. Defense gives up three, but we're right back on track, and we're coming right back to the passing game. Only 56 seconds here, two timeouts. Not going to force anything, but we're going to look to make a play. Letting the clock run down here a little bit. We're in a really good position up 21-3 to three and going to take it into the second half, but we're going to – a couple more completions here won't hurt. As long as we don't turn the ball over, which we won't. Break them inside. Get out of bounds. We got one more play. Do not want to turn the ball over here. Going to go with max protection and just see if anything opens up like crazy. And do we got something? No, we don't. Let's go into halftime up 21-3. to three. Trevor Lawrence, 18 for 20, 218 and three touchdowns. Agnew on the return gets it out to about the 28. Now we can comfortably, you know, get into the run game a little bit because we did so well with the pass game in the first half. However, I don't want to get away completely from the pass game. It's what got us here. So we're going right back to the pass on second down. And we're going to have B wide open, but he didn't get rid of it soon enough. Going with a little play action here. See what we can make happen. We're going to get sacked. Houston forces us to punt third and out to start the half. Not what we wanted to see. Probably should have stuck with the with the pass game like we did in the first half. Maybe we'll have to come right back to it. Houston with the ball, and we managed to get a stop, and we do have the ball at our own one. Let's be careful with the football. Backed up towards our own goal line. Chenault with another great play. Chenault has not had the year that we expected, and I take complete responsibility for that, And but he is absolutely having a career game today. I take responsibility for him not having the stats that we all thought he would through the first 14 games or 13 games, but I'll tell you what, 7 for 118 today for Chenault. Going to Isabella here, he's open. And he's going to make something happen. He jukes him inside, jukes him outside, another first down. Inside zone here to ETN. Nothing doing. ETN out of the backfield. Nothing. Third and 11 here. Don't want to force anything and turn the ball over. Just got to be careful. Ooh, he's got something. First down. No. Inter almost intercepted. Ball dropped by the tight end. I like the play, though, by Lawrence. Getting it into the open receiver just wasn't able to make the play. Punting it here. Can we get them deep in their own? And we get them at about the 13-yard uh, line. Let's hope the defense can get another stop here, and they can. I'm coming right back to the pass game. Actually decided to run the ball here. I want to set up for a play action. Another run here on second and five. This time the ETN. 
Play action here, third and four. Don't want to force anything. Might look to take off. And I am going to run the ball with Lawrence and get a first down. Good decision. Screen should work here. Looks like they're blitzing from the back end, and they are. Can he break a tackle? He can, but he gets tackled down at the 46. A little read option action here. See what we can do with Lawrence on the ground. Don't fumble. And he does read it. Good decision to get it off to ETN there. Looks like they're in tight man. And they are. I got to get out of the pocket. Run the ball. Get something. And I do, but he fumbles. Ah, gosh dang it. That's the second fumble on the day for Lawrence. And they take the ball right down the field and score. It's now 21-10. to 10. Going max protect here. Eesh, not sure I like what I see. Just going to dump it off, and he's going to be out of bounds. Second and 10 here. Looking for Jones on the wide receiver screen, and he's not going to be able to make anything happen there. Third and 12. Going to be a tough play to make happen, but, oh, geez, that's going to be picked. Oh, my gosh. Whew. 21 to 10 now. A lot of time left in the game. If Houston gets a touchdown here and a two-point conversion, oh, boy. Houston getting the ball. Our defense has played well all season, but they do. They give up a touchdown. They don't allow the two-point conversion. We have to look to, gosh, you know, I want to say win the game, but I want to say take care of the football. I'm very conflicted right now. We're going to run the ball on first down. Haven't run the ball all day at all well because we've been focused on the pass, which I like, but now it's time where we have to run the ball, and uh, we, we just can't. Got to look to Jones here on second and 13. They're in man once again, and I'm going to look to run the ball for the first down. Lawrence with his feet gets it done. Huge play there on second and long by Lawrence. Another pass here on second down. Risky play call here on second and eight. Going to look to run it again. First down, get down. Let's go. Lawrence is going to get a game ball today. Just spectacular all over the field. And here's ETN, ineffective running the ball. Just seven rushes for 21 yards. Two-minute warning here. Second and five, evaluating what I want to do. I definitely have to get a first down. I'm going to run the ball here, probably cause Houston to call a timeout. And then it's a must, must have first down on our next play. Can we get it here? Stretch it to the outside. ETN has been unstoppable. Breaks a tackle. My gosh. This guy has been amazing all year. When you need to make a play, get it to him. There he takes it outside. Cuts it up. Looks like he was going to be tackled for no gain. And he gets a first down when you need it the most. Now it's just about getting a couple yards and putting the game away. Going to Robinson on second down. Now it's just about running the clock out. No fumbles. And we're going to head into victory formation, folks. One of the best ways we've started a game all year, open it up early and often, pass the ball all over the field with Trevor Lawrence. Came up with uh, close to 300 passing yards, three touchdowns, all of them in the first quarter. We were not able to uh, do a whole lot in the second half, but, hey, I'll take it. 21-16 to 16 victory. We were playing a lesser opponent, and we were able to do what we should have done, and that's bully them early and, early and often in this one. Great performance. Let's take a look at the stats. Here you see Trevor Lawrence, best game of his career, 26 for 31, 277 yards and three touchdowns, no interceptions. That's the performance of a number one overall pick and the leader of our franchise, and that was a statement game by him. Running the ball, not a whole lot to say about that. Lawrence did help us out in the run game. Five rushes for 39 yards. Taking a look at our receiving stats, Chenault got him involved, not just in the screen game or the sweep game, but we pushed the ball down the field, and he came up big. I was a little rough on Chenault, I think, this season, but I take a lot of fault there in not getting him involved in the right way throughout the season. Today we did seven catches, 118 yards, and a touchdown. Love to see it. ETN, five catches, 21 yards. Man hurts, four for 46. Jones, three for 43. Taking a look at defensive stats here, Jack led the team in tackles with eight. He also got a sack on the day. Smoot and Robertson Harris also were able to get a sack, and Allen as well. I think that puts him in double digits for sacks on the season. 
Great win today. Uh, didn't have the second half I wanted to, but was able to get off to the start that we wanted to, execute the game plan and passing the ball and get the victory. And it feels so good. Eight and six, moving on. Trevor Lawrence received an upgrade for his career performance with 277 passing yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions, and the kicker also got a upgrade. That's going to do it for episode 14 of Rebuilding the Jacksonville Jaguars on the Dursa Network. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to like. Please subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Dursa Network. We'll see you next episode as we take on the New York Jets.